Hello and welcome to this screencast on how to present your EPQ presentation remotely. So I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step guide now on how you are going to be able to present your EPQ um, project remotely from your own home. So first of all, you need to get to your search engine page, whichever search engine you use. I use Google, other search engines are available. And all I want you to type in is screencast-o-matic. So, screencast omatic and this is the software or device we're going to be using to produce um, your presentations so it's this top link here which is um, titled screencast-o-matic.com screencast -matic, screen recorder and video editor so if you click on this for me here you'll be greeted with this page now as you can see I'm actually logged in as I have an account however you do not need an account for this all you need to press is Record um, for free, we click on record for free and we get greeted with this page. Now this is available on Windows, Mac and so on. From this step on it's going to look slightly different for you because I've already launched my recorder so it doesn't give me access to what you may see but I can still go through um, what you'll need to do. So once you press launch recorder it says launched for me as I'm already recording a video but another box will come up for you and all you need to press is open and what will happen is you'll be greeted with this black box that you can see on the screen here and this is where you kind of put in your settings that you're needed for your video so for example it's got max time here at the moment it's got none your presentation needs to be 10 minutes long therefore you can click on this button here and you can type in 10 minutes. I think the options are 5, 15 and so on, but you can um, manually set it for 10 minutes. That's how long your presentation needs to be. Size here, if you click on this, it can go full screen and you'll see this black and white kind of outline here. This will show you what on your screen will be recorded. But if you go full screen, it is your whole screen that is recorded. So for example, you would have your PowerPoint presentation open. This box here would be on the PowerPoint presentation slide. So for example, let's use what's in the background here. This person is going to record what is on the screen um, here. So the outline is showing what's going to be recorded. So you can see that. Narration if you are getting no green lights here when you speak that means you either do not have an inbuilt microphone which means you'll have to plug in a microphone an external one and all you need to do again is once it's plugged in either via your usb or bluetooth you click on that button there and then your um, microphone or speaker should be available and you just need to click on that and then once you start speaking you should see the narration bar light up with um, green lights when you're verbalizing what you're doing and that is that's it it's as simple as that and finally all you'd have to do is press record okay so then once you record it will give you a countdown from three so three two one and then you can start your presentation once you have finished all you need to do is go back to this black bar here and it will light up and there will be a button that says done and you can just click done and then from that you can upload. It says there's an option to save and upload. So if you save it, save it to where you want to save it to, save it what you want to save it as, your, your name, your project title and then EPQ presentation and then from there you'd be able to send it where we need you to send it to. Hopefully that helps. I'm also going to put together a Word document, um, a step-by-step -step Word document with some screenshots in so that you can um, see exactly what is needed. If you have any more queries or you're struggling to use it or um, open the software, please do not hesitate to ask your EPQ, EPQ tutor and I'm sure they'll help you out. Okay, so thank you for listening and good luck. Bye.